What up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is a quick settings tutorial for Gray Zone Warfare. Many of you are probably having some FPS issues. This game is pretty demanding, and I just want to clear the air right now. I've played about almost 80 hours during the playtest, and so far as I know, they're not really doing too much with settings and, you know, optimizing as far as I can tell. So I'm going to give you pretty much the standard, and then I'm going to give you max FPS settings starting right now. So you're going to go into your menu, okay, on game. Only turn on what you want up here. That'll help. I, I turn most of them on. I turn off a FPS counter, but most of them are on for me. The rest of the stuff doesn't really matter for performance. This is just going to be personal preference. So I want you to go ahead and go to graphics. Make sure you select your monitor. If you're not a streamer and you don't tab out too much, make sure you set this to full screen. This should be your displayed base canvas resolution to help frames you want to start off with a max fov it's going to make the guns look a little bit smaller your arm look a little bit smaller and all that but it will help with the game performance but somewhere between 60 and 75 this is kind of preference v-sync if you're having screen tearing and things like that make sure you toggle this on brightness and all that don't get too far off you know you can play with it uh frame rate limit it does help but obviously put it above what your the frames you're getting so i happen to be getting about 140 to 170 fps so I'm, I've been selecting about 240 and just kind of leaving it there. Having an FPS limit will kind of, the game likes to fluctuate a lot, at least for now between frames. It's very volatile. So I try to set a limit on that. Make sure your background limit is at 30 FPS. Don't make sure that's not unlimited or anything like that. So preset quality, we're going to go through the max FPS settings first. I would set everything to low out the gate. Okay. Everything post-processing everything. And then you're going to be selecting FSR. Now I know what you're thinking. It's weird because you might have an NVIDIA GPU and you know, you want to use DLSS. We'll get to that. FSR for me with both of these toggled on low latency and frame generation on quality is insane. I was going from about 70 to 80 FPS with DLSS. When I put it on FSR, it made the game look a little bit worse, but I was getting crazy, almost, almost double the frames. So I would start there. If you can deal with the frame loss, especially with PVE and, you know, the graphic quality of the game, go ahead and go to DLSS. I'll do that in just a second. But for now, when you get to PVPing and making the movements and stuff like that, and you want overall smoothness in the game, I would go ahead and start with FSR. You're going to probably see a huge difference. So the second is I would go to DLSS auto, leave the sharpness at zero and turn on low latency. Okay. The rest of the stuff should be locked out. If it's not, make sure frame generation is on, leave this on quality. All this stuff is, isn't even on that. So it's just DLSS. There will likely be an update tomorrow. If there's not one already for DLSS three for the uh, NVIDIA driver. So make sure you have the current, you know, updated version of the software. So that's it guys. And again, I'm, I'm using these settings based off the play test. So these are subject to change. I played with them for well over an hour and a half and that's what i came up with the game looks great guys you don't need you can play with some of this stuff um if you want but everything on low the game still looks amazing so i would just leave it like that so you can get the best performance so that's all i have for you guys hey if you enjoyed the video learned anything you know what to do also join the collective i'll put a link in the description below we need some good players and i will catch you guys on the next video thank you